Welcome everyone. Now our topic is height and height and distance. This is chapter nine from NCERT book. Okay, and uh, you did a uh, trigonometry in chapter eight ratios, trigonometry ratios, formula, identities. Okay, all you did in chapter eight. Now this is the practical use of trigonometry. Okay, and uh, one thing, suppose you have to find the distance of the mountain or or uh, height of the big big building. Okay, so uh, or uh, height of the tree. Suppose you you are uh, sitting in a, so, uh, some distance uh, from a tree. If you want to find the height of the tree, on that case you can use the concept of height and distance. Okay, now first point is number one, angle of elevation now you have to know how the angle of elevation will form and again one thing uh, in height and distance it, it is necessary you have to draw the figure okay we, without figure you can't solve this problem okay whenever you see the question you just draw the figure and according to that figure you have to solve the question so first see angle of elevation so see how to form angle of elevation suppose this is the height of a tower or it is any height okay so ab is the height suppose a person is in this point and suppose distance of the foot of the tower from this point is suppose this is h uh, suppose this is x this is h okay suppose the person is seen from this point to upward see this is the direction so the angle form by this on the top with the base this angle is called angle of elevation so angle of elevation will always form when the rays will go from downward to upward so this is angle of elevation number 2 angle of angle of depression so sometimes what will happen suppose A person is on top of a building, okay, and he or she is seen on down, like this. The rays will come in this direction, and you just join this base, and you from this point you draw a virtual base, virtual line, okay, which is parallel to the base. Suppose this angle is theta, and this is very important. The rays will go from upward to downward direction. So this angle is equal to this angle. Why? Because they are parallel lines. These two lines are parallel. So alternate interior angles are equal. So this angle is called angle of depression. Okay. So in the question, when angle of elevation or angle of depression will form, that you will know by seeing the question. Okay, so after this uh, exercise nine point one, I will start, and you just see question number one. 